UQ Women in Engineering community. I'm Candice Lamb, Chair of the UQ Women in Engineering Alumni Ambassador Council. To celebrate our diversity and inclusion champions this year, we've asked our community of Women in Engineering supporters to raise a virtual glass to toast your inspirational it is such a pleasure to raise a glass to celebrate every board member of Women in STEM Australia for their relentless commitment to increasing the profile of women in STEM and for their national advocacy around Australia in creating an environment where every woman in STEM can lead and excel. Hi, I'm Amy and I would like to raise a virtual glass to Negan Beaton, mining engineer and a Women in Engineering coordinator at UQ. Megan continuously shows us her support and makes us feel equally valued. She inspires, transforms and empowers us to be strong future leaders. We celebrate you, Megan. Thank you. Hello, my name is Karen and I'd like to raise a virtual glass to Kate Heliotis. Kate, I'd like to thank you for all of your time and effort on the WE Act Council in the last couple of years. We've put on a number of really successful events and they definitely wouldn't have gone as smoothly without your constant vibrant energy and your strong commitment to increasing diversity and inclusion in the UQ engineering community. Kate, you've also been a wonderful mentor for me in the past year as I began my journey with the Council and we'll all miss you a lot and wish you all the best for your future endeavours. So thank you very much. Hi, I'm Kyle from UQ, and I'd like to raise a virtual glass to UQ Women and Engineering Alumni Ambassador Council, who during a challenging year have continued to develop and deliver a number of great events and initiatives that have contributed to improving gender diversity across the engineering sector. Thank you for everything that you do and congratulations. Cheers. Hi, I'm Wishwick Raman. I would like to raise a virtual glass to Felicity Fury, co-founder of Power of Engineering this year, Felicity was runner-up for Young Engineer of the Year in Victoria, started her own Millennial Leadership Program, which supports those in minority groups, develop their leadership skills, all whilst having a healthy little boy during the lockdown in Melbourne. Well done and cheers, Felicity. I'm raising a glass to the ongoing support and commitment that we receive from the UQ academics and, the, uh, and our industry partners that form the UQ Women in Engineering Advisory Board. Your continuous inspiration and encouragement, especially during these difficult times, really helped us to remain resilient uh, in meeting our program objectives. So thank you. I want to raise a glass to the 2020 Women in Engineering Student Leader Team. Yes, all 20 of you. Your resilience and the way you adapted to the circumstances this year and your continued commitment and dedication to the program, even with the challenges we face, is so appreciated. What a year. You were actively involved in our new digital, digital initiatives, such as the podcast series. We developed a brand new workshop. We had virtual coffee catch-ups and now we're getting together physically, which is great. And now your enthusiasm and passion back in the classrooms, inspiring the next generation of engineers and promoting diversity is makes you the superheroes of this program so thank you hi i'm rick murphy and i'd like to raise a virtual glass to beatrix schilling mechanical engineer who worked on the spitfire during world war ii not only was she able to improve its fighting capability but also worked to make the spitfire a lot more safer for its pilots and ground crew so thank you and thank you to all the women working in the engineering field today. Thank you for attending our events. Thank you for your support during a difficult year. 
Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for championing change. Thank you for being part of our community. Thank you for adapting and innovating with us. And thank you for staying connected. See you in 2021.